Hello again. So this is the exercise problem 2.6 in our book which is of second edition and uh, here the statement says that two components in a system C1 and C2 are tested and declared to be in one of the three possible states. Okay, so uh, we have two components C1 and C2. These two can be in any of the three states which can be F and it means functioning r not functioning and uh, not functioning but repairable and k which is kaput okay so uh, that is basically the destroyed component here so what we have to find out we have to find out the sample space in this experiment in part a for our question so in uh, before finding the uh, sample space of this question we have to look at this example or in this statement and have to see what how can we solve it okay so let us have these two c1 and c2 like two slots here this is c1 and c2 and these two slots can be filled out by using the three uh, states here which can be f which can be r and which can be Okay. okay so these can be put here so how many choices do i have here to put i have basically three choices here this c1 can be uh, functional this can be repairable and this can be k as well similarly c2 can be of uh, can be any of these three choices as well so that is three so so how many uh, elements uh, do i have in this sample space i will have three multiplied by three i will have nine elements in our sample space okay so that would be the sample space and on how to find out those values here so these can be like let me write the sample space here so the sample space here will be the first one can be functional the other one can be repairable okay the first function first one can be repairable the second one will be functional okay now introducing the k term here the first function will first will be functional and the second will be k or the first will be k and the second one will be f okay now again uh, this uh, term here is r with f r with k so first will be repairable the second will be k okay and first will be k the second one will be r okay so these are one two three four five six terms these are the terms in which the two are basically the different ones so by different terms the first two can also be functional the first Two can also be repairable and the two can also be kaput as well okay so that is the uh, sample space in which our terms are basically one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so that is our sample space and that is the answer of a so before finding the sample space i have also given you a clue how to find out the number of elements in a sample space and that is uh, by this uh, formula and this is basically you can also call it the sampling with the replacement in which the one element from these three choices will have to be taken and after it we have to put it back and in second term we have to uh, take the same uh, choices from our uh, choice systems okay so that is the c2 and we can easily find out the number of elements in our sample space so uh, in b what is the set corresponding to the event none of the component is k okay so in order to find the sample space here what are the choices we have in which k is not available so here k is not available here it is not available um, here it is not available and here as well okay so now the solution of sample space here will be f r r f and uh, similarly f f and r r okay so we can see that f r r f f k k f 
R K. These all all of these other terms will be consist of um, the K term as well. But here we don't have any kaput terms. Similarly, from this you can easily find out the probability of uh, the terms which are not K. So we will discuss it in our upcoming lectures. Till then, uh, we have to stick with the statement of our problem 2.6. And that's it for today and I will come with some more questions which will be of here very useful for your uh, concept to grasp all the technicalities of these type of questions. Till then take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Thank you so much.